All right. Now, let's get into our next trailer on the docket, and that would be Marvel Studios' Secret Invasion previously on. So, uh, like I said last week when we checked the, the one out last week for the trailer watch party, I have no idea why Marvel has not been doing this previously on thing for all of their trailers. I think it's a great way to generate hype. I think it's a great way to keep people up to date with what's going on. Like, all of it. You know what I mean? I am super here, bro. Like, like I'm super here for this show. I've been loving this show. I've been loving everything that we've got from this show so far. Uh, so, I can't wait for tonight's episode. Um, and I hope Marvel really does continue to do these previously ons with everything that they create. Because, it, like I said, it allows people who aren't even watching the show to possibly get a little like to get their whistles wet a little bit you feel me like what's actually going on in this show like to be get to get a previously on um, like as a trailer and just be like oh man what have i been missing i need to go tap in you know i think that marvel should do that a lot more so with all that being said let's check out this previously on secret invasion trailer and last week's episode was incredible and i will be talking about it after this trailer <laughs> He's building a machine. What kind of machine? I think it's to make us stronger. Now, at the council meeting, I told you I had a plan for taking Earth as our own. The heroes of Earth will react. The only way we can counter that is to become super ourselves. Super squads. Who's leading the science? <laughs> Dalton! The name's Dalton. <laughs> Yo! One of the two occupants of that lovely country manor of yours is catching a bullet today. You can flip a coin for all I care. That was some good, yo, some you. great dialogue. With my last own week's infiltration episode. at the moment. There are scrolls inside the U.S. government. <gasps> Bruh. Nick Fury was like, bro, what the hell just happened? Yo, last week's episode was great. I really appreciated uh, last week's episode. I've appreciated every episode of this damn show overall. It's been so good. It's been so good. People like... I know people have been hating on this show, but the show has been so good, bro. I've just loved it. Um, people just hate on Marvel for everything that they do. Uh, but what do you expect when you set the precedence of what it means to create comic book movies? You know what I mean? Like when people say comic book movies and they think about you, like what is like, of course, it's going to leave nothing room, but nothing but room for hate from people. And of course, for people's opinions and all those things as well. So I freaking can't wait for tonight's episode i don't know what's going to happen as i have not known what's going to happen in all of these shows uh you know f f we found out 100 that Rhodey is a scroll in fact you know what i mean like we found out so many things that we had questions for uh last week and it kind of leaves just a lot of room for what we can get within these next two episodes last week's episode was our shortest episode of uh secret invasion yet running at about 30 minutes i can't remember the exact time it was but running at about 30 minutes you know it's like uh you know what i mean it's, it's like uh, what's we gonna you know what are we gonna see kind of going on uh next i and i really don't know what we're gonna see going on next um i kind of do know what's gonna happen next but not completely uh what i i, I mean we gotta see um Amelia clark's character of gaia come into the fray a little bit more and like actually start you know wanting to not just take over for her dad but kind of help lead fury in a better direction in a new direction uh and i think that gaia is probably going to become fury's like talos basically you know like just start filling in there but actually do a little bit more to be a little bit more understanding that we're in this time period now you know what i mean um you kind of got to 
it's not even if it's not out with the old and in with the new you have to start listening to the young generation that we are supposed to be passing things down to or that the adult or not the elders or the older people are supposed to be passing down to my generation as you know like as we go into being the new adults and all this other shit like that you know we have to be open they have to be open to our changes that we want and that's very similar to what this show i think is trying to establish is finding that middle ground between hey i know what you said but that shit doesn't work anymore bro because it's not the 1980s or the 1990s you know it's not even the early 2000s anymore g we're in the 20s right now so there is a completely different way to handle things and a completely different game that is being played uh especially when it comes to like just the universe that we're in with secret invasion there is so much more uh being like at stake and and things that we need to understand uh and even when you look at the intro the intro trailer for secret invasion or whatever at the end it has the it has like the world half green and, and then you you don't see like as much of the blue tones of the earth type of thing because there are so many scrolls and they want to take over so bad and they want all these other things because they were promised these other things that they have not actually received and the goals have not been accomplished that were set out but they held up their end of the bargain you know and so they they marvel's been doing a really good job marvel has always done a good job with when it comes to like the villains it's just they kill them off too early in my humble opinion um but a lot of the times especially back in the day there was no other way to to deal with the villains because they didn't have the damage control and they didn't have that giant uh prison and stuff like that like for the mcu so it was like we can't just have this guy running around we're gonna have to kill him off you know um I've done a lot of rambling, but still, point. my point is, this show is incredible, and I am super excited to check out tonight's episode, and I can't wait to see, you know, how Gaia is going to be, and what that means, and all the things she's going to be doing. I'm super hyped. So, let me know how you feel about this in the comments, yo. Uh, Marzu says, I can't believe there are haters for Secret Invasion. People suck. Oh, yeah. People are hating on Secret Invasion just because it's Marvel. Like, literally. That's the only reason why they're hating on it. Um... Because the MCU is doing it. And it's not what they want from the comics, you know? And the comic wasn't even... I mean, you know, we can we can say whatever we want to about the comics. But expecting... It's hilarious to me when people are like, Oh, man, in the comics, uh, you know, this happened in the comics and that person's not even in the MCU. So I'm not even going to bother watching this because there's no way it's going to be like the comic is like bro nothing has been like the comics are <laughs> it's been very rare to get the, like a one of one comic adaptation on the screen and i don't want that either and i think people are freaking insane for kind of wanting that i'm not gonna lie i i don't think that's the place like marvel has never been the ones to do that and i don't think they're going to start being i think they're going to start adapting a lot more comic stuff but it's like just because in the comic book spider woman is the first person to get outed as a scroll like that doesn't mean it's going to happen in in the movies you know people i don't know what's going on with people with thinking that just because they read something it's going to be the same when they watch it or even thinking that it needs to be the same when they watch it like if, if, unless it's made by the person that wrote the damn comic or book, it's probably not going to be the same. I think it's pretty safe to say someone's going to give their own interpretation of whatever it is that's going on. Um, but, you know, hey, I'm super here for this show. I'm really excited about the show. I love it. And if you guys love Secret Invasion as much as I do, then make sure that you tune in tonight at 11.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time so we can check out Secret Invasion invasion where you're going to be doing our watch party and review so make sure you are there too all right drop all your thoughts and theories about secret invasion episode five in the comment section down below all righty 
Um, Fury hasn't lost a single step. He's just playing a part, and he is really three steps ahead. I'm calling it now. Yeah, for real. I think we even. I think I said something like that last week as well. Like, bro, he's just finessing everyone. Everyone thinks he's so stupid. No, you had said that in last week's episode. We, yeah, we, yeah, you said it in last week's watch party. Was like, yo, everyone thinks Fury is like slipping, but he's over here setting bugs, sneaking into the president's, uh, you know, right hand man's office. He's doing all these amazing things and you know i love that we're not wasting time with seeing fury do it it's like bro he's a spy we don't need to watch him break into a damn door because we know he's nick motherfucking fury you know what i mean like i'm nick fury even when i'm out i'm in like we know that about him so we don't need to we don't need to see any of these other things you know